Welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Tony Rohde here to talk to you about Explorer Learning Part 2. Uh, last time I spoke to you about the site and here it is again. And today, or now, I'd like to talk to you about uh, what types of gizmos you'll find in Explorer Learning and how you can sort of tailor it to the grade that you're teaching. So we'll log in again. Again, the username and password you'll need to sort of get from the school when they uh, register and give you a license to use it. But if you see this video and you want to log into mine to explore, Antonio Rodi Science, oops, let's try that again. Antonio Rodi Science. Alright, so this is the page you'll get to, and if you click on Browse Gizmos, I've never really explored this too often, but uh, the second tab here, Gra Gizmos by Grade and Topic, if you click on this, you'll see the options that you have available for general topics. So if you're teaching a grade 3 to 5 class in math or grade 3 to 5 in science, and let's say you want to look at number and operation gizmos. Click on that and then you can refine your search. Perhaps you're teaching whole numbers and then, it'll, and then the gizmos related to whole numbers will pop up. Here we've got three. Now this is something that I haven't mentioned before. You can click on the add to class uh, link. If you click on this it says you, you want to add this gizmo to your class. Well these are the classes that I've got registered under my profile, Physics, Environmental Systems, and Clark. I want to add it to Clark's class, so I'll click on Add. So that's been added to his class, and I'll click on Done. And let's say I want to click on Rounding Whole Numbers Number Line to the class as well. So Add to Neil Clark's class, and then I can click on Go. So here we go. When we go to Neil Clark's tab, I see the two gizmos that I've just added. You can also remove gizmos. But before I do that, let me show you uh, what a gizmo looks like. First I'll pull up the lesson info so we can follow the directions. And we'll click on the PDF. Alright. So there it is. Uh, the vocabulary is approximate and estimate, not, not too many words. There's some prior knowledge questions. And first one, how tall is your classroom? Guess his height in feet. Hmm, that's too bad. Uh, you don't see that too often, but sometimes they come up with uh, two gizmos, one for metric and one for imperial. You can always switch that. How many paper clips do you think you would need to make a paperclip chain that stretches from the floor of your classroom to the ceiling. Explain your thinking below. So again, this is a good warm-up for your students. Uh, a, to see where they are with uh, whatever the topic is that you're teaching. And B, to get them interested. Gizmo warm-up. Again, here's your opportunity to uh, work with the students on how to use a gizmo. So it says, you've just been hired by the Cannonball Clown Circus. Your job is to make sure the clowns hit their target. One. The center of the control panel shows the launch distance, currently set to 25 feet. Press the launch button. Did the clown hit the target? So, go to your gizmo and click on this tab here. It'll launch the gizmo. It takes a bit of time. You should definitely go over this before you show this to the students. All right. Clown Cannon Control Panel. I've never used this before, but let's check it out. Show expanded notation. Drag the digits to change how far the clown flies. All right, right now, <clears throat> 20 feet plus 5 feet gives us 25 feet. So, looks like the launcher is there. Here's the control, and let's hit launch, as the directions say on the student exploration sheet. Bam. Okay. So, let's go back to our question. Nice sound effects. Did the clown hit the target? Answer, no. If you don't know the answer, you can always check your 
Teacher's Guide, Answer Key. 2. The left of the control panel has a set of digit cards. Drag the 9 card on top of the 2 card in 25 feet. This makes the launch distance 95 feet. Click Launch, where did the clown land? So let's go back to the gizmo. Remember, usually students have a paper copy of this uh, activity sheet. So grab the 9, place it where the 2 is. No, let's try it here. Okay, so 95 feet, click launch. You can ask students where they predict the clown will land. Oh, there we go, look at this. Units, change it to centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Oh, wonderful. Click on launch. Wow, far gone. K. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, back to the exploration sheet <laughs> three. <laughs> Experiment with launch distances until you land the clown in the target zone. What launch distance did you see? Here is where the exploration begins. So now the students talking to each other with their partners by themselves. Say, let's try, wow, I don't know, let's try 45, oh my god, that's in meters, no wonder. Okay, <laughs> anyway, let's, let's, let's just change this to, uh, oh my goodness, um, 15 meters, okay, and launch. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I hit the target. I think I did, yes. So there you go, 15 meters. That's how Gizmo works. I mean, here's this is only the warm-up. So if we go back to the activity sheet, after you've guided students through this warm-up, they'll have an idea of how to use the Gizmo. You, you see here that it took me a few minutes to kind of figure it out and play with it, but uh, you, you definitely need to uh, help students with this at the very beginning. Uh, some of them just like exploring themselves, and they'll figure it out. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of cool. You can take a screenshot of what you see right there. Then you can go into a Word document. Uh, uh, here we go. Word document. And you can paste Control V, I believe. And. Or you can go. Oh, there you go. Look at that. So anytime you're working with the gizmo, you can go and I'll just close this uh, nope uh, all right okay I can just take a screenshot and paste it into a word document just amazing arrows you can take these arrows and say try to hit the clown between here and here okay they're kind of useful. Uh, tool tips. Don't use that very often. Sound. If the kids are making too much noise at their desk with the computers, tell them to mute the sound. But in this case, it's pretty fun when you're using it as a demonstration. And demo. Kind of demos the actual. Welcome to this demo movie on the Explore Learning Kit. <laughs> It'll actually give a demo of what I'm doing with you right now. So, really, you probably don't need me recording this, but. I'm going to do it anyway. So if they're at home and they want some help, they can click on demo. All right. Now, uh, that, like I said before, these activity sheets, here's uh, activity A. As a new circus member, you need to practice your candid skills before you f your first show. All right. So it basically walks the students through the activities. And this is where there's independent learning happening. And you walk around the class kind of helping kids where they need the help. All right. So. Uh, the other thing I want to show you, that's basically, uh, you know, how kids can use gizmos and how a teacher can find a gizmo appropriate to their class. And the last thing is, down below, once they've finished, there's uh, an assessment of five questions, which students can then try to answer after they've completed the activity sheet. And their results, when they submit, check your answers, go to you as a teacher. So you can actually see who's tried the quiz and their results. Thanks very much. Bye for now.